everyone. How's it going? I'm back. 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 Okay, so enough with all of that. So I know I've been gone so long, but I'm so glad to be back here on the YT. And I just wanted to do this video. Um just so I can give you guys an update on what's been going on with me and also things to come here on my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for the few subscribers that I do have who are still hanging in there with me. And to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel and to all my hopefully new subscribers, hello out there to you too. So... What's been going on with me? Well, a lot's been going on with me. Well, as you guys can see, I chopped my hair off. I chopped it. Yeah, it fell out. And, yeah, well, yeah, it fell out. But I like it short, so I decided to keep it short. And it's grown back so much. But I just decided to keep it short. And if you follow me on Instagram and Keek, you would obviously no um, and you would have been a part of that journey as well but if you're not following me on Instagram and if you're not following me on Keek if you still have Keek or if you ever had Keek then please follow me it's Miss K Gray MUA and I will put all that information in the down bar below and it will be across the screen as well so um yeah so that's as far as my hair and I got purple in my hair now because before I was like red, then it went to blonde. Now it's purple, which is pretty much my favorite color. So, so yeah, that's where we are with my hair. Now, as far as um, where I am, as far as my makeup journey, um, as far as where I am as a makeup artist, um, I no longer work at Sephora. Um, I quit about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. Um, I felt that I was not being given the opportunities to further develop myself as a makeup artist. So after two and a half years, I decided it was time to leave. Um, I will be exploring other opportunities elsewhere. Right now, I'm just taking a break. Um, the body is tired. Working a full-time job and then trying to freelance on the side and also try to work, you know, a little part-time something in the beauty industry. It's a lot. And then also I'm active in my church. So it's a lot going on. So I'm taking a little break, giving my body a little rest before I jump back into anything. And guys, forgive um, my nasally nasalness excuse me um my allergies have been on a thousand this week so this is why i have no makeup on as well because today is a good day because they're getting better and it's getting better but this whole week since i think saturday night last saturday this past saturday night my allergies have been like on a thousand so forgive the nasalness but getting back to what i was saying um, I decided just to give myself a little rest. Um, I try to get a little um, bit of whatever I do in between. Like I've been grabbing a lot of my coworkers and I've been doing their makeup at work, you know, just to put the feel, the feel on. Um, most of you don't know, but last year I did go to school and I did get my makeup certification. Um, I went to Christine Balmy in New York City and I received my certificate in basic and advanced makeup. And when I tell you that helped me tremendously as far, not just as for me as personal as a makeup lover, but as an artist, things that you know, you think you know and you don't know. You know, being a makeup artist, it's a lot more involved than what people think. You think because, oh, well, I can do my makeup. I can do everybody else's makeup. Slow your roll. Hold down. Cool up. There's a lot more involved when it comes to putting makeup on other people. It's 
especially when you're dealing with all ranges of skin tones, undertones. I learned a lot, so that in and of itself helped me um, to begin my uh, career further as a makeup artist. And I've also been continuing along, following up, just taking classes, just so I can keep my skills afresh. So, yeah. And I'm continuing to do that. Um, I have attended some Mac Pro classes, some Makeup Forever um, Pro classes, and some outside industry classes as well. Um, since I still work in Manhattan, most of where I've gotten my makeup or beauty industry education is there. So that's where I tend to, you know, pretty much stay as far as, you know, my education. But that's where the wealth of the knowledge is. And you know the beauty industry. It's either New York or it's L.A. So, um, let's see. What else can I tell you guys? Oh, my beauty room. Beauty room or my girl cave or my diva room or I haven't really given it a name yet. If you were following me here on YouTube, um, uh, before I took all my old videos down, um, I think the last video I did, I gave a sneak peek of my makeup setup and my makeup collection. Um, I have redone that whole setup. So, if you're not following me on Geek, then you need to follow me on Geek because pretty much at Geek, you, it gives you more of an up-to-date of everything that's going on with me, whether I'm venting or giving you updates on my makeup room and the progress that I'm making, whatever I buy, anything. Um, so if you remember that last video, um, then you'll know my what my set looked like. If not, um, I am going to be doing a makeup collection storage video real soon once I have finished um, my beauty room, girl cave, beauty corner, whatever, whatever it's going to be called. Um, and what I'll do is I'll give a sneak, I'll give a little, uh, snapshot of what my old setup was. And then you can obviously delve into the new setup when I do the entire collection storage video. My collection has grown. Yes, it has. It has grown. I, contrary to what a lot of my friends, a lot of my old co-workers at Sephora, a lot of my friends, I do not buy every single thing that comes out. You know, when collections come out, like MAC collections, lately, like these MAC collections, a lot of these MAC collections I have passed on, um, and if I do see something, it's like one or two items I'll pick up, um, because lately what... I've really been doing is I've been focusing on building my makeup kit um, because I myself have enough makeup but enough really is never enough <laughs> um, so yeah so that's what I've pretty much been doing I've been focusing on building my makeup kit um, because that is where I'm trying to build it up and it has grown immensely my makeup kit and I may do a video too just to show you what's in my makeup pro kit so that's another idea um, what I would like from you my subscribers and all my viewers I would love to hear um, what you guys want to see from me as far as videos ideas I will be doing tutorials now I have my um, new computer I bought myself a MacBook for my birthday this past April um, so I am up and running now I still don't have a camera so I'm still using my iPhone and my iPad to record my videos but I, I was watching somebody's video and I can't think of who they are but they don't even have a regular camera. They use their iPhone to record all their videos. And then they use their MacBook to edit their videos. So, 
but I still want to get a camera because I want to do a nice professional um, upload and upset for you guys. Um, or excuse me, set up, not upset. So yeah, so what I really, really would love to hear from um, everybody is I want to know what you want to see as far as um, videos. Obviously, I will be doing haul videos. That is a definite. I will be doing base of the day videos. I know I used to do that a lot. I will be bringing those videos back. Um, and I will be doing tutorials. Um, once I get my beauty room, beauty corner, whatever it's going to be called, finished and it's almost done, then I can definitely um, get up and running and start filming tutorials. Now, how often will I be able to record videos? I'm not sure because even though I'm not working at Sephora on the weekends anymore, um, I still have a lot going on. I'm doing a lot of freelancing on the side and I'm trying to also plan events, uh, some makeup events. So you guys stay tuned for that. So yeah, so you know, that's gonna be um, consuming a little bit of my time and then I have other things going on that I'm trying to accomplish um, can't really get into that right now but I will keep you guys posted so I don't want to ramble on and on and on and on and on and on um, but I do thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video and again, please, I would love your suggestions. I want to hear from you guys. I want, I want the people to tell me what they want me to do so I can give it to you. Um, and hopefully, there will be a lot of great things to come. And thank you guys so much. And I'm so happy to be back here on the YT. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.